we're going to think about what are animals' homes like. So this is our, the end of the week and we're going to be thinking about this. Um, so by now you should have lots of answers. So go ahead and push pause um, and then push play when you're ready for the next one. Brain stretch. How did these words go together? Mud, grass, and leaves. So how did these words go together? Go ahead and push pause, and when you're ready, when you think you have an answer, go ahead and push play. These are things birds use to build nests. They use mud, grass, and leaves. What other materials do birds use to build nests? Think about the story and think of some other things that we, we saw that they used. When you're done, go ahead and push play for the next slide. Listen and learn. Listen closely to this word, went. What vowel sound do you hear? Eh, w, eh, nt. So it sounds like eh, eh, egg, w, eh, nt. What sounds do you hear after the vowel? So if this is the vowel, what do you hear after the vowel? Nt. We hear nt. Now say all the sounds in the word. W, eh, nt, w, nt. Listen to these words very carefully. Then say the vowel sound, sounds after the vowel, and all the sounds. So we've got next. What is the vowel? The vowel is eh, like egg. What is after the vowel? After the vowel is x, nt. Now all the sounds we would hear n x t. We should hear all four of them. N x t. So let's try the next one. I want to see if you could do it on your own. Test yourself. It's kind of like a game when you test yourself. Net. We've got the vowel sound e. Eh. After the vowel, push pause if you need extra time. T. All the sounds. N. Next, fine. What is the vowel sound? I. What is after the vowel? N. All the sounds? F, I, N. Now this one's tricky because we can't hear the, ear, the E. And it says, what sounds do you hear? We don't hear the E because it's silent. But we do hear it, but it does tell us, anytime we have a silent E, it tells us that this vowel is gonna be a long sound. So we know it's F, I, N. The next one, what is the vowel sound in find? I, find, oh, so it's I, it's a long I sound, find. So after the vowel, what sound do you hear? N and D, N, D. Now all the sounds put together, F, I, N, D. We hear all four sounds, F, I, N, D. Um, why don't you go ahead and push pause and practice saying, reading these words until you can read them with fluency. Next, we've got everyday words. Say and spell these words. So we've got animals, repeat them after me. Animals, bear, bear, no, no, most, most, myself, myself, second, second, she, she, sleep, sleep, three, Three, work, work. Now we're gonna guess the word. So which word rhymes with coast? Look up here, which one rhymes with coast? It's gonna have a oast sound at the end. Coast, oast, which one has it? Pause if you need more time for any of these. You should have got most, most and coast. Number two, which word is the antonym for play? Now remember antonym starts with it vowel, so that means opposite, because opposite starts with a vowel. Which word is the antonym for play? The opposite of play, what would that be? Did you say work? Work and, op work and play are opposites, they're antonyms. Number three, this word follows first. So what would be after first? 
Did you say second? Good job. So it's just like you guys, after first grade comes second grade. Number four, you'll hear long E in the middle of this word. So look up here, find a one that has a long E in the middle of the word. Not at the end, not at the beginning, the middle. Did you say sleep? If you did, give yourself a pound in the back. Sleep has it in the middle. Three has an E sound too, but it's at the end, three. Here it's in the middle, sl, E, and then P. So right in the middle. Um, you can practice reading these words quickly if you want to before you go to the next slide. Oh, also we're going to say at the everyday words in a gruff voice. So like a gruff voice, whatever you think that sounds like. Read those in a gruff voice before you go on. Read these words with me. Shaped, branches, pond, beaks, deepest, break, hang, winding. Okay, we're going to pick one of these topics. What is something that breaks easily? Can you think of two ways birds use their beaks? And what animals make their home in or near a pond? So pick one of them, or maybe you'll want to answer all three of them. Go ahead and answer those, and then you can go on to the next slide when you have an answer. Say, count, and sort. So today we're going to say a word, count the sounds, and sort it into the correct box. So this has a three on it, this has a four, and this has a five. So lamp, let's do the first one together. L -m -m -p. Lamp. Does it have three sounds, four sounds, or five sounds? Did you say four? If you said four, that was good. Okay, um, the next one, smile. Smile. Three, four, or five. Push pause if you need more time. Smile. So we got s, m, i, o, and then we don't hear the e. So there's four sounds. The next one, pan. Three, four, or five. Push pause if you need more time. Pan. Three sounds. P, a, n. What about plan? Plan. P. L -a -n. Four sounds. Plan. What about plant? P -l -a -n -t. Plant. Brand. B -r -a -n -d. Brand. What about band? Which one is that going to go into? Three, four, or five sounds. B and four sounds. Band. Bad. B at bad. Tap. T app tap. Strap. St -r -ap. We could hear all of the sounds. One, two, three, four, five. St -r -ap. Trap. T -r -ap. Trap. Did you get them right? I hope you did a good job. Um, why don't you practice saying them uh, or practice reading them fluently before you finish for today? Great work. Thank you.